Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. So, right, on the metro, you go on the bloody metro, coronavirus, 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 mental. And then when you go onto the lifestyle section, which is my favorite part of the metro because it's always full of bullshit, coronavirus, white privilege, coronavirus, a dog, coronavirus, can you order a takeaway? Coronavirus, coronavirus, like just hysteria, right? Okay, yes. It's a serious thing that's going on, but it's not world ending, okay? The Metro are making it worse by every two seconds having a new article. Can't you get enough food if you're so nice? Ah, we're all gonna die, we're gonna die. Like, it's. <sighs> Shut up, right? Don't go to the gym. Any fucking excuse for these people not to go to the gym. Fuck off, I'm going to the gym later. That's not the point of this video. I saw this article. Boy sent home from school for selling squirts of hand wash for 50p a shot. And I thought suitably clown world-ish material that's what we're gonna look at today a teenage boy has been suspended from school after selling squirts of hand wash to other pupils for 50p oliver cooper 13 decided to buy a tub of johnson's child hand wash from tesco's for one pound 60 after hearing about the coronavirus outbreak on the radio who still listens to the radio it's 2020 he then offered some to his friends who suggested that he could start a business on the playground sending squirts to other children entrepreneurial spirit that but after making £9 from his peers, a £7.40 profit, he could have bought loads of Mars bars for that. He found himself in hot water after asking a teacher if she wanted any herself. <laughs> you have to admire the spirit. Oliver, who attends Dixon's Unity Academy in Leeds, was sent home before 11am with his mum, Jenny Tompkins, 32, and then taken to Facebook to rage about what he had done. You've got a smart lad, Jenny. She said... This is a picture of my teenage son just getting in from school. Why is he getting in from school at 10.53 a.m., you ask? I didn't, but that is very that is a very specific timing. Schools don't finish until 3 p.m. Well, the little turd has just been expelled from school for the day. It's an external exclusion, not expelled. Calm down. After being caught charging... After being caught charging... Yeah, yeah, I guess. Charging students 50p a square for hand sanitizer to protect themselves from the bloody coronavirus. <laughs> Look how chuffed he looks with himself. Bless him. Very hard to discipline this behaviour when his dad phones him from work to call him a fucking legend. <laughs> Am I his dad? That is... Oh, man. I'm never going to have a child. But if I had a child and they did that, I would be ringing them to be like, you're a fucking legend, mate. Congratulations. Well done. Buy us a Mars bar on the way home with the profit you made, yeah? Because by then, in this alternative reality, there would be vegan Mars bars. Well, I mean, there are. But they're like two quid. <laughs> However, the mum of seven, who works as a care assistant, said she didn't think her son's spontaneous business was an excludable offence. No, it's a laugh, mate. It's just a bit of banter. This is the epitome of British spirit in the face of... A pandemic? Crises in the face of a crises? She said, I told him off so that when we go into school, I can tell his head of year that I have told him it's wrong. What's wrong? He's providing a service. Is it wrong that Tesco's are selling bottles of hand sanitizer for £1.60? <laughs> Supply and demand, isn't it? I think they see it as him exploiting a situation, but his stepdad called him a legend halfway through me telling him off, so that put a stop to it. He's like my little Dell boy. I won't be punishing him any further. He'll do what he has to at school, but that's it. Fair enough. Oliver is now facing a day in isolation followed by a two hour detention, but says other pupils in his school are also selling items such as chewing gum. When I was at school, there was this boy in my year, who I'm still friends with actually, and his parents would obviously buy like the multi-packs of chocolate bars, cans of coke, and I think at the time they just put in that new rule where you couldn't bring in junk food from home to school so he would bring in that or they or they stopped selling the chocolate at the canteen at school so he would bring in these and he would sell them for like a pound each and muggins here me i was his best customer he would come up to me and be like elise like i've got some nice double decker bars in today do you want some and i'd buy them off him like an idiot <laughs> paying one pound for like a chocolate bar that was probably like 50p you know so this is just something that kids have done for fucking ages anyway. He said, It's ridiculous, really. I asked the teacher if they wanted any, and she said, No, I've already got some, but you're not allowed to do that. 
Mrs. Tompkins said her son bought himself a multi-pack of Doritos on his way home from school and plans to spend the rest of his profits on a kebab. What a legend. What a little legend. I like this kid. I'll adopt him. A spokesman for the school said no student has ever been excluded from Dixon's Unity Academy for selling hand sanitizer. The plot thickens then. What did he actually get expelled for? Was it a hand sanitizer and a little cheeky bit of weed? Like, what's going on? Look at this. Snorting cocaine won't protect you against coronavirus, officials warn. Coronavirus conference cancelled because of coronavirus. Woman stole car then tried to convince police she was Beyonce. What? Go on then, let's have a read of this. Why not? Make the video, make the video reach 10 minutes, yeah? Woman stole car then tried to convince police she was Beyonce. Serena Henry is accused of stealing a car. Are you quite all right, Serena? Are you okay, mate? Do you need a glass of water? A thief stole a car and took it for a joyride, then tried to claim she was Beyonce after she was stopped by the police, it is claimed. Serena Henry, 48, tried to pass herself off as the 38-year-old pop star artist she was allegedly caught behind the wheel of a stolen vehicle. Henry, of La Cruces in New Mexico, was spotted... I probably butchered that pronunciation. Was spotted behind the wheel of a car reported stolen, police said. A police officer who saw the car gave chase, with Henry ignoring orders to pull over, caught him say. I like how they put up a picture of actual Beyonce, like we, like we weren't be able to tell. She eventually parked outside of her own home and allegedly offered the sh showbiz identity when grilled about who she was. Henry is said to have claimed to have found the car with its keys still in the ignition, prompted to take it for a ride. What a series of mishaps! That is just a series of bad decisions. Stealing the car, lying that you're Beyonce, and then lying. Because, right, even if, imagine, right, go along with this for one second. Even if the police had gone, oh, fucking hell, it is Beyonce. All right, can I have your autograph? You still would have got in trouble for stealing the car. The Daily Mail the next day would be like, Beyonce joyrides. So this was just a whole host of brilliant decision making on your part, wasn't it? Asked why she hadn't pulled over when flashed by the cop car, Henry alleged, <laughs> allegedly said she didn't feel like stopping. Mate, Henry is funny. Either like Henry is on drugs or Henry is just funny. She's been charged with unlawful taking of a car, concealing identity and resisting or obstruction of the rest. Jesus Christ, look. Coronavirus, coronavirus, coronavirus. Where's the funny news? I want the funny news. I don't... Telegraph journalist says coronavirus cull of elderly could benefit economy. We're not reading any of these because they're just... No, I don't want to, but it's calm down. No way. Woman pees alcohol despite not drinking a drop. A woman has been diagnosed with a never before seen condition after doctors discovered she was urinating alcohol without drinking a single drop. Do we live in a simulation? This world isn't real, no way. Never before seen. The unnamed patient, 61, has become the first person in the world to be diagnosed with urinary autobrewery syndrome. Urinary autobrewery syndrome. What a name. Caused by yeast in her bladder that ferments sugar in her urine to produce alcohol. You know in the episode of Simpsons where they ban alcohol, they have a prohibition going on, so Homer starts making it in the bathtub. Get this lady on the case. She should piss it out, bottle it, and sell it for like five quid a pop. Pretend it's like an IPA or something. There are some hipster wankers in East London who would 100% buy piss lager if they were told that it was like extra hoppy or like flowery or what the fuck ever. And they would pay like a tenner per bottle for it. I'm telling you, this lady needs to get into the brewery making industry. The process is almost exactly the same as one used by beer makers, but it was happening in her own body. At first, medics suspected she may have been hiding an alcohol addiction when urine tests for the drugs were repeatedly positive. Kenichi Tamama at the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center Presbyterian Hospital said the woman, who has diabetes and liver cirrhosis... Cirrhosis? Cirrhosis? Psoriasis? No. Cirrhosis. Fuck you. Was recommended for a liver transplant, but has been taken off the donor waiting list and referred for alcohol abuse treatment instead, despite denying ever drink alcohol. Further blood tests for metabolites of ethanol were negative, meaning the woman did not have alcohol in her blood. Specialists at the university instead found high levels of candida. Candida. That's like. That's like. 
vagina stuff, isn't it? I was thinking of Candida Duo. Candida glabrata, a yeast naturally produced by the body, were accumulating in her bladder when she ingested sugar. The yeast is similar to sacobinimsum, a fungus known as brewer's yeast because it's used by beer makers to convert carbohydrates in grains into alcohol. Tests showed this conversion process was taking place inside her bladder. Kenichi said, The doctors were surprised and shocked. Initially, clinicians thought the patient was not being honest about disclosing her alcohol usage. This alcohol thing has been haunted her. He said it showed how easy it is to overlook signals that the syndrome may be present in some liver transplant patients. Kenichi and his colleagues named the woman's condition urinary autobrewery syndrome, now calling for doctors to be aware of the conditions of patients are not wrongly labelled alcoholics. Writing in the journal Annals of Internal Medicine, the medic said, Acquiring all of the data necessary to evaluate a transplant candidate is complicated because the high stakes, time constraints and the workload of the persons acquiring the data. Proper processing of data is even more difficult. It is all too easy to order alcohol monitoring tests inconsistently, overlook discrepancies in the results and allow bias to enter and persist in the decision making process. Standardised guidelines for abstinence monitoring laboratory interpretation are needed. The researcher said in the women's case it's different to other reports of auto-brewery syndrome in which yeast in the gut appears to produce alcohol that is absorbed into the bloodstream. Individuals with this syndrome have high levels of alcohol in their blood and they can experience debilitating mental fogginess as long as other symptoms are often associated with drinking too much alcohol. Because there is an alcohol in their blood, the woman seen by the university medics did not feel its effects. The ultimate craft ale, some idiot with a massive beard would pay good money to drink this woman's piss. Told you, fucking called it. Probably still tastes better than Stella. She can make a video, one woman, two pint glasses. Now we know how they make Budweiser. People are fucking loving this, aren't they? She'll get sued by Fosters for copying their recipe. That is crazy. This world is 100% a simulation. Anyway, that's all I have time for for today. If you enjoyed this video, do remember to like, comment, subscribe. If you enjoyed this clown world piss edition, then yes, comment down below. Let me know what you think. Let me know if you would buy this woman's urine and drink it. They need to do a test to see if someone else would get drunk from drinking this woman's piss. I will fund this test like a fiver and a packet of Watsits if like some scientist just does that, okay? Make sure you follow me on Instagram because I need more Instagram followers. Elise Yeezy. Instagram.com slash Elise Yeezy. Okay, guys, and I'll see you whenever. I make new videos whenever I feel like it. So maybe tomorrow, maybe next week. Who the fuck knows? Might get coronavirus, might not. One last thing before I go, actually. Just had a meeting earlier with a fellow comedian, as if I'm a comedian, I'm just an idiot. I am going to be co-hosting a podcast uh, somewhere in the near future. I will keep you guys updated about that so you can follow it and check it out. Me and two other comedians. Other comedians, as if I'm a comedian. Anyway, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.